All right, and we are back with, <laughs> with my dead colonists, my word. So Dutch, Justin, and Dex are all dead. And we have our lovely man in black here. Ooh, my computer is being a bit laggy today. So we do have two prisoners, so Maxwell could potentially take care of them. And what's his shooting? His shooting is not good. I don't know how he took care of that mech. This bad boy right here, I don't know how he did it. My word, but he did it. He did it. Um, and at least we don't have to worry too much about food because we just have one colonist. Actually, we have, we have our two prisoners and we have Jensen over here. Oh, he is one of our guests. Oh no. <sighs> Ah, uh, he has medical skill though, so what we can do... Let's see... How's Jensen doing? He has some conditions that need to be tended. He's not gonna die. Um, Cole is okay. Roa does need tending. She is gonna die in four hours, so we'll let Maxwell finish up with her. Our precious Labrador Retriever has died. And we have a quest available. Interesting. Um, I don't want to become an enemy of the Shattered Empire, so we're going to go ahead and delete this <laughs> this quest. Let's see. And we're probably not going to be able to take on this quest for a little while. Okay, so we do have Maxwell. I'm going to set him to attack on first sight. He is our only doctor, so we are going to set that priority there. I am going to set his priorities for Warden and Entertaining up higher because we need the colonists. And uh, I guess he's just going to be able to do everything then. He can construct, he can mine, he can clean, he can research if he wants. <laughs> he can do art, he can do crafting. I'm just going to make him able to do everything. Just in case. Just in case he's our only colonist for a really long time. Oh, we actually have, we have more, we have more guests. Oh my word. Hang on, how many guests do we have? We just have two. So we have Owens here as well. What does he look like? He has a pyromaniac, so I'm probably not going to worry about him. Jensen, I do want to entertain and create friendships with because he has that medical skill that I need. And he's an extra set of hands. We're going to give Maxwell this bed. Oh no! <laughs> Our visitors are leaving. They were awfully disappointed by their stay. I mean, being an attack my Bex would do that. Can confirm. All right, bye, Jensen. Well, that's what you get for visiting my half a year old colony. So Rowan now has a freaking infection. I honestly don't think this is gonna go very well. Uh, Maxwell, oh, Maxwell needs tending. Let's have him tend to himself. Let me focus on that because I, I don't want our only, our only colonists to die. There we go, we'll let him tend to himself. There we go, we'll let him eat and we'll let him tend to Roa. We have a combat supplier. Yay! Hopefully they have some things to keep us going. Alright, really quick, before you go to bed, Maxwell. <laughs> go. Go tend to Roa. And at least a lot of our stuff is, is under our roof, so we don't have to worry about them deteriorating. However, these meals, this needs another wall for this to be fully enclosed. How is Maxwell's social? He has pretty high social, which is promising. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna set him to work over here. We'll give him two extra recreation hours towards the end of the day. We are gonna have to build some graves as well. How are his needs? His mood is very low, which is unfortunate. Okay, real quick, I want him to wake up, go trade with them, and then we're gonna go ahead and bury these bodies. I have some sarcophagi. If I claim these, will he go and bury those bodies? I think so. I think he'll put them in the sarcophagi. Okay, so he has poor health, so the prices are a little wonky, but that is a-okay. What do they have that I want? We're gonna keep the plasteel knife. Um, we do have quite a few guns, so we can get rid of the short bow. But other than that, I don't see anything else that I really need at the moment. We have some smoke shells. We'll keep them on hands. Who knows, maybe we'll live long enough to be able to <laughs> build a mortar. 
let's strip Dutch because Dutch has Dutch has a lot of the armor that we need and if we can get someone who has bloodlust then I think we'll be okay to equip them with the tainted armor. If a colonist has the trait of, I believe, bloodlust or psychopath, I want to say, one of those, they don't get a negative mood buff, debuff from wearing tainted armor, which is something that I <laughs> would not mind getting in my colony. Honestly, any colonist would be nice. All right, let's go ahead and bury everyone. We only have three, so we're going to bury... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and bury the original trio. And I guess we do need a butcher spot because we have that lab. I know it's morbid, but yeah, I think it's something that we have to do. What's Maxwell doing? Okay, let's have him build. I don't know why he's going and resting. Oh, it could, it could be that he's injured, so he's trying to prioritize his rest. There we go. There we go. I don't want him to prioritize for resting just yet. Um, let's go ahead and add a bill. Butcher creature. I usually just set this to do forever. Because I don't find that I have too many animals to butcher and not enough time. So I'll just butcher as I go and we can go ahead and make those meals as well. Just so that it doesn't go to waste. <gasps> oh, you've got to be kidding me. So Maxwell <laughs> decided to go catatonic, which means he's uh, going to be out of it for the next couple days. Which means I have no colonists. Well, might as well sit on fast forward since I can't do anything. We'll see if Randy Random will, will be nice to me. So, Cole has already fainted due to malnutrition. She is not going to get any food anytime soon. Maxwell has moderate malnutrition. So we have that going for us. However, it's already at 60% and now it's severe. Gosh darn it. How's Roa doing? Oh dear. Roa is also at extreme. I have a feeling our two prisoners are not going to make it. Yep. Okay, so Cole has died unfortunately. Ah, uh, Maxwell is still catatonic. And Roa has gone next. Let's see. Maxwell is at 74% malnutrition. If he can wake up before he gets to maybe like 98 or 97, I, th I think I can get away with, with getting him fed and keeping him alive. Um, So we won't be able to actually take on any prisoners, so I'm just going to refuse them until... <laughs> Until Maxwell can get off of his gosh darn feet. Okay, so he's at 82%, 83. Oh gosh. This was the wrong time to go into a catatonic breakdown, Maxwell. You could have at least waited till we got one more person in here. He's at 90%. At least he's gonna die well rested. Come on, Maxwell, you got this. 96%, gosh darn it. I have, I, I'm curious though, like if my whole colony dies, I get a man in black. I know that much, but if my man in black dies and leaves my colony without anyone to do work, what happens then? Oh, Maxwell, don't die on me. He's at 98%. Mm. I, <laughs> I guess we're, I guess we're about to find out what happens when a man in black dies. I mean, even if he were to make it out of this, I don't think I could keep him happy for that long. 99% Maxwell. You did so good with our colony for the short two days that you were here with us. In his final moments, he died protecting our colony. It says his malnutrition is at 100%. I thought he would have died. Oh, there we go. And... Everyone is dead or gone. This story is over. Perhaps someone else will find a use for the ruins of this place. <laughs> well, first.
first run with Randy Random. Um, I don't think I should have expected anything better than what just happened, but um, that was a pretty good run. Maxwell is Maxwell was the VIP or MVP, I should say. Maxwell was the MVP. Perhaps someone else will find a use for the runes of this place. What happens if I keep playing? I don't think anything's gonna happen. If anything, our whole place is gonna... It's gonna burn before... <laughs> uh, before we get anything done. So, um... Yeah. <laughs> First run with Randy Random went wonderfully. If you haven't already, feel free to hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button. If you want to track my progress and see if I'll ever beat Randy Random, I strongly suggest doing so. I also stream RimWorld a lot on Twitch, and so if you feel like playing the role of Randy Random and interacting with my RimWorld streams, feel free to follow the link down below in the description and yeah, I welcome any and all viewers to mess up my RimWorld games. I'm looking at you, Slippery Fish and Slowpoke, with your dozens of tornadoes. Take care, y'all, and have a wonderful day.